Investigation last night, he uncovered people selling fake turquoise jewelry as the natural thing. Part of his investigation was a talk with a professional expert with a history in identifying the natural stuff and the fake turquoise. Joining us now, Joe Dan Lowry, a fourth generation turquoise dealer and lapidary. He's also the curator of the Turquoise Museum. He's written a number of books on the topic. Basically, he knows turquoise. Hmm. Joe Dan, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Good okay, let's here. talk a little bit about turquoise. Right. It's a gemstone, starts out in the ground. Then we got to go mine it, right? Got to go mine it, go get it. Uh, comes out in all kinds of colors, all kinds of sizes, as okay. you can see. This is some of the stuff right here. This is what kind of they get well, in the mines. It takes yeah, some this stone is what they get in the mines. But then uh, mines are identified by some of their colors and different nuances. So, like this is your best New Mexico turquoise. This pile of rock here is from Tyrone, which is down uh, south. Okay. But there's different varieties, and then uh, after you get it mined and you get it cut. Then it also has different grades, and so we try to put in here how you would grade some of the different mines. The lighter the color, the lower the grade. The darker the color, the higher the grade. Does that mean when we go and buy it in jewelry, the darker the color, the more expensive it's probably going to if be? If you buy the gemstone, just like if you buy a diamond, rarity okay. is the value, and so the more rare, the more expensive. Okay. And there's also some that has like some of the, the webbing in it right. as well. The, one of the ways you also grade turquoise besides color is the matrix. And the matrix is the mountain. So when you saw the rough turquoise, mm -hmm. it has a color of a host rock. And that host rock, when the turquoise is cut, makes a pattern in the stone. That pattern is graded, and the rarest grade of a matrix is called spider web. Okay, so how much does some of this stuff go for in terms of getting, say, some of this great webbing or some of the dark color? All right, it depends on how famous and rare the mine is. So okay. the production of the mine, just like if you went shopping for cars or you went shopping for wood, not everything's the same. So you have a subject title, wood, and then cherry wood is going to be more expensive than other woods and so on. So in turquoise, it's all identified by mines. So this one here is called Bisbee. Bisbee's okay. a top five mine. Number eight, this one here's a top five mine. Lander Blue's a top five mine. But you could find a pretty stone out there like this one here, which is called uh, Marinci. Okay. And a stone like this would essentially cost you about 20 bucks. Okay. Whereas a stone like this would cost you about 17,000 bucks. You're kidding me. No, so that's your wow. whole difference. And so when people go shopping, you can buy anything. It mm -hmm. just depends on what you like, and then it also depends on what you actually want to afford. Okay, now the question, this is what Larry Barker talked about in his special investigation last night. You helped him out with, how do we know if we're going to buy this, if we're getting what is natural turquoise, the stuff from the rock, or if it's fake stuff, what some people actually pass off and they can technically call real turquoise. Right. Several categories. First off, an imitation is not a fake. Okay. It's when people misrepresent. So there's nothing wrong. You don't define art by what it's made with. That's just art. You can choose any product to make. It's whether you choose to misrepresent. And so the expectation of the consumer when they go into a store and they're expecting to get natural turquoise and they get an imitation, then, then you have a problem. It's against the law. It's misrepresentation. Okay. You have some of the imitation stuff right. over here. How can we tell when we're out at the shop, whether we're in Old Town, we're at a gallery, wherever we are, how can we tell what is imitation and what is natural? All right. It's a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to make it simple okay. on one category and then we'll explain. The word natural... Mm -hmm. means you're buying the gemstone. So any store that is reputable is going to guarantee in writing that what they're selling you is natural turquoise. From a mine somewhere. That, well, not just from the mine, but the color and the matrix and the rarity of that mine are all guaranteed. Okay. So the rarity equals the value. So when you make an imitation, there's several different ways. An imitation imitates an original. So a lot of the turquoise we get out of a turquoise mine is useless because it's too soft to cut and polish. It has the same consistency as chalk. Gotcha. You can see that, right? Uh-huh. Yep. Just comes so right if you off take there. that and you fill it with plastic waxes and oils, you can get hardness. So you're okay. imitating natural's hardness. And you can get color. You're imitating the color of a natural stone. So this is an imitation, but it does have a value to it. Okay. It's production cost. Gotcha. Just like if you bought a cubic zircon or anything else. Mm -hmm. Then you can have where we take all the little parts and we compress them into a block and then we okay. cut out a style. Gotcha. Or you can have pure plastic. Okay. So there's lots of imitations. The way you know is the word natural. Okay. And then wherever you go shopping, this is how you shop. Everybody should always buy what they like, mm -hmm. and they should always buy for the right reason. Okay. And guess what the right reason is? Because you like it.
theirs, nobody else's. Exactly. And so you can buy costume jewelry or you can buy gemstone jewelry, natural as how, and your prices will be determined by the rarity. Actually, as we can see, some of that stuff you brought here up to seventeen thousand dollars, just a little. There's piece some of expensive it. stuff here. Okay, Joe Dan Lowry, thanks so much for You're coming welcome. in. You're welcome. More information.